Listen for the sound of the fan. Hear the voice. Look at the fans. They both are working. Turn it off. Fans. Welcome back to WeBuilds. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to fix your radiator fan. Uh, in case your ECU is not giving power to your radiator fan and you are in an emergency or even if you want to take your car to the uh, who's that mechanic yeah if you want to take your car to the mechanic uh, still you need your radiator fan otherwise if it is like too far your engine might heat and that is not good for your car so let me show you how to fix not fix actually how to uh, make direct, uh, direct connections to your radiator fan so let's go what are you doing inside? You wanna drive? Oh, you let me drive, good. Step one, disconnect the battery. There you go. Now to operate the fans directly, you need to find the location of the relays which operate these fans. So we'll just follow the wires connecting the fans. So these two are the wires and they go like this to the right side of the car and nearby somewhere you will find a box like that. You see this one? This is the relay box. For perspective, right there in that corner is the relay box you can just uh, press the locks and pull it open there you go comes out like that and then see there are three relays in this one this one is for the air conditioner this one is uh, these two are for the radiator fans so the radiator fans you see we have two radius radiator fans one is that one and this one so both of them operate these two radiator fans now to operate the fans directly what you need to do is pull out these two relays this will be very tight so be careful this is a relay i'll make another video explaining how this works make sure to check it out and this is the other relay number two so these two relays uh, are used to operate the fans the ecm sends signal to these relays and they turn uh, the fan on and off when required so it is like based on the temperature of your car so it's not always on but when we are bypassing it this is an emergency procedure so when we are bypassing it we'll just uh, simply connect the terminals and it will be operating throughout uh, throughout whenever the car is running whenever you keep the switch on basically now to test if the fans are okay what you need is a small wire and a little concept just for perspective so when the relay is on it basically just uh, connects these two terminals together so it's like this will be connected like this so what we are going to do is short uh, sort the position i mean short the position where these two pins are connected there in the relay box so this is uh, to test if our fan is not broken <coughs> So yeah, there's the relay box and for one of the fans we need to short this and this as I showed you in the relay. So I'll put one wire in there. This end maybe. Mm, yep. And the other one in the second one. Listen for the sound of the fan. See the fan is operating. One more time and show you the fan right there. Doing it now. You see the fan is running when I see the fan is running when I saw short the relays. So that's all you need to do now. How to connect wires to this? In this, we know that uh, our fan is working fine. It's either the relays are broken or the ECM is not giving signals to that. So now let me show you the technique to uh, connect the wires to it. For that, we need relay and one wire. Take one wire and, you know, peel it off a little long. And also make sure you use a very good wire because otherwise there's a lot of current going through it and it might burn uh, the wires so uh, this is a very good copper wire i'll be using this now take this relay one of the relays here 
and then you just connect it like this on one side and like this on the other side hold on that's it that's all you need to do again let me disconnect the battery first done so now we have the relay already uh, just make sure uh, it is not touching any other the wires are not touching any other ends and just like that put it back in the box right there i'm going to put it back i've disconnected the battery there it is the connection this is how i have connected the relay and now these two wires are coming out now all we need to do is just put a switch between these two and then we are done so the thing is operating only one fan might not help as much so that's why we uh, i'll connect another fan also but just to show you check this out the fan is working when i connect these two now to operate the other fan also, I'm not going to use uh, <clears throat> uh, both the relay points. I'll be connecting just one wire to that relay and see uh, how it works. Hold on. So this relay, just telling you again, this relay, I have just connected to one end because the other end I can use from the other relay itself. And I'm just going to put it back in there carefully. right there now if i touch these two wires see oh the battery <clears throat> connected the battery and now when i touch these two uh, the other fan should work good let me show you the fans now these are these are all the three wires that i have the black one is the light wire uh, can you see yeah now when i touch this let's see which fan operates the right one and when i touch these two the left fan operates so that's all uh, i will connect the fan wires these two are the fan wires i'll connect these two to our to these two together like this and i am going to remove the battery now okay these two have connected together and this one so i'll just put a switch between these two if your motive is to just to take your car to the mechanic you don't have to put a switch in between them you can just directly connect these wires the fans will run start your car and go to the mechanic otherwise if you want to run it for some quite some time let's say you are planning to go to the mechanic after a few days in that case you will have to put a switch because otherwise it will be a lot of trouble and the wires might might spark and all uh okay where is it here is the switch that i'm going to use so let's just quickly do this With that, everything is ready. Here is the switch. Uh, it should operate the fans. I'll turn it off and leave it here for a bit at a safe place. So I, I have folded the wire and I'll just tuck it in here. Okay. Make sure nothing is sh uh, shorting because that might cause a fire. And there you go. So now this button, you can keep it anywhere outside. I'll just keep it there. Now, 
I'll connect the batteries back. The switch is on. Turn it off. And once again, connect the batteries. Not drawing any current. Good. Connected. Now, you see, when I turn on the switch, the fans will operate. Hear the voice? Look at the fans. They both are working. Turn it off. Fans off. And one more time. On, off. Okay. <clears throat> so, that's how you bypass, bypass the radiator fans. And Don't lose the cap. Put it to neutral, put the key inside, turn it on, turn on the fans, listen to the voice, those are the fans running and you can take your car anywhere you want. Now your car is absolutely fine, you can take it anywhere, there, uh, there might be other problems because there's a uh, problem with communication with the ECM. But yeah, there won't be any overheating or anything and it's safe to drive your car if you do it that way. So, uh, I'll just park it now. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.